Hey everybody, it's Jim from Jim's Holy Sicolius, and as promised, I'm back. Um, it's been about a week since uh, my last video. If you're following along, uh, great. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I hope I'm helping everybody out. Uh, last video um, was on how to, if you're following along, or if you're growing your own coleus from seed, my last video was how to separate your coleus into nursery pots or planters or whatever. I'm growing several hundred, so I use nursery pots. So as promised, let's go take a look at these coleus. I, I potted about five or six trays yesterday. It took me about six hours. So it, it, it is tedious work, as I had mentioned, but it's well worth it. And you're going to be amazed at how well these coleus have grown inside of a week. And I'll get into how you can get the same results by following my channel. And we'll have lots of fun all through this growing season. So let's go and take a look at all these coleus and... Any questions or comments, please leave them at the end of my video. Subscribe if you haven't. And again, a shout out to all of my followers out there. They're, I appreciate the comments. Uh, I really appreciate the kind words. And let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are. Let's do a little overview. Um, I have another rack that I have to bring in. I'm going to move some of these other items over, clear things out. Is my little Yorkie Newton. Hey Newton, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's a little mad that I'm doing a video. So anyway, um, so as I had mentioned, I did around five, uh, six trays last night. I have some brewing away in the greenhouse. Um, as you can see, they're really taking off. Um, I, I can't be happier. I love the color. And the variation. You can see so many different types in there. And they're only, these are only a month old. We have so many more months to go. And I'm going to get into lots of other topics. So stay tuned here on my channel if you really want to learn how to grow coleus. Real simple. I don't get into a lot of the technical horticultural jargon. Uh, I try to keep it basic. Um, and you know, mistakes that I've made, I learn every day from people who are far more educated than I am in coleus and so forth. But I've done, been doing this long enough that I, I have it down to growing fabulous coleus. So, um, you can see inside of a week, how well they have taken off. There's some smaller ones and some larger ones. Lots of beautiful color. And just be patient with your coleus. They, there may be a few that look real bad. You're going to lose some too, uh, especially if you grow 600, 600 like I do. Um, but I have, a, a over, I have an over 90% rate on my coleus. Um, I, I lose very few. And if I see a runt, I always make sure I give it a chance. I don't like to toss them out if I don't have to. Here's a couple right there. But look at it. You know, I, I actually remember po potting, um, potting that little fella. And he didn't look too great. But I gave him a chance and look at him now. He's showing me a thing or two. These guys too. And again, I mentioned... You may lose some leaves. You certainly will lose these little, the little ears on the bottom. Don't worry about it. It happens. See, there's a couple. I have has one. That one has no leaves or has the little one there. Don't worry about it. Those little ears have done their job. They still do a little bit, but they they were basically there to feed the seed when it was germinating to make sure that the plant had food and for photosynthesis it's a combination thereof and again i bought this let's get a get back a little uh this green light the uh, uh plant light rather it's uh i really like it i got it on amazon 
it's like thirty dollars, twenty five. Three arms, it's an LED, it's a full spectrum. Make sure you get a full spectrum grow light. I mean, there may be some that are listed and they don't say it. Make sure it says full spectrum because it gives the full spectrum of light exactly what it says. The full spectrum of light that plants need to grow. These are very safe. They're LED, just like this one here over my greenhouse. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go in there in a minute to to show you that up close. That's a new one as well. My old one retired after six years. But anyway, they really provide the coleus with all the light that they need to uh, to to jumpstart. And they throw a little bit of warmth, not a lot, but enough. And, it, and I have the heat, obviously. I have a baseboard heater behind here. But I'm going to bring in another another rack because I have, I have about six more trays to make. So, um, there's a kaleidoscope. I believe that's a kaleidoscope coming in. No, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. That's, that's not a kaleidoscope. Those are Kongs coming in. Let's see, I know I have a kaleidoscope in here somewhere. I believe that one is a beauty. I have some um, Defiance coleus coming in. Jitters, Kong. I grow a lot of Kong. They're my favorite and they're people's favorites. There's a, there's a Kong. And I could tell just by looking at these, these are going to be fabulous, huge Kongs. There's a couple of, uh, there's, there's one I, I, there we go, there's an example. There's one that just didn't make it. So you pull it out, and you move on, you replace it with another one. These I did yet last night. Spent about six hours. These are primarily jitters. Jitters are great coleus. And there's some some uh, Kong. That's a jitters. I can tell that by the thin uh, leaves, and they have like a sliver of color down the long axis of the of the leaf. But they're great for hanging baskets because they're they're they kind of like hang. <laughs> I know that's funny, but they they kind of droop down. They're they're really great for hanging baskets. I always use them in a hanging baskets, so I make sure I grow enough of them. But Kong are by far my favorite. And you can see why. Uh, I got some. I have some peppers here. They're doing real well as well. Um, they're doing great. And let's go over to the greenhouse. And as you can see, I have it zipped up. Not totally, but I have it pretty well enclosed. And that it it just creates a um, an environment of moisture, humidity, and heat. This is another, this is my new full spectrum LED green light. Very safe, very energy efficient, and it does throw a little bit of warmth, but nothing that you have to worry about. And it does wonders, wonders. These little indoor greenhouses are, are very inexpensive. They look nice in your house, this is in my dining room, and they do, they just, with the right combination with the green lights and so forth, you can grow anything. So I have, you can see, I have lots of coleus left to, um, to plant yet. I got a pot. I have to take that out now, actually. But, but the humidity and the warmth in there is like, just like at home, like the tropics. They love humidity and heat and you can see these are doing really well um, if you have any questions obviously uh, shoot me a comment again uh, of those of you who are following along uh, don't know I also have a pretty active Instagram channel page and a Facebook page so if you want to keep in touch with me a little more detail uh, you have pictures, maybe you're having a problem with the coleus or your question about something. Um, subscribe to me on Facebook is my Saturn. Uh, subscribe to me on Facebook. Uh, you shoot me a picture of something maybe you have a, an issue with it. I'll, I'll, I'll try to help you out. So look at all that new growth coming in.
These are really wonderful. And some rootings. That's beautiful. Look at the color on that still. And it's just a month old. So again, I'm going to bring in another rack. Um, and put some more trays here. That's what I like about these green light, these uh, grow lights here. Uh, they have a timer. They have these three flexible arms that just bend in any direction. And the head swivels 360. So you can really move it in any direction. So maybe you want to give a, a certain, you can move it a little bit. Give this one maybe a little shot. I try to keep it a little high because that spreads out the light. And as of right now, I, I know I mentioned about how long do you keep your green, uh, your plant lights going. I'm leaving them on um, right now, probably in a week. I'm going to leave them on 24-7 because I want to make sure that the plants are, are stable. Because when you um, separate your coleus from your pods, if you're separating them and you're putting them into pots... That's some trauma. It's your your coleus are going to go through a little shock. So they're going to they're going to look like hell maybe. Uh, although these uh, these didn't these uh, look great because uh, a lot of these I did yesterday. Um, some of these actually these were from last week, and the ones down here I did yesterday. But uh, back to my point is your 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 coleus are going to go through a little bit of a shock. So I'm going to do everything I can to ease that transition for these little guys. And I'm going to leave that warmth and the grow light on until they really, they look stable and they get in a good root structure set in. Then I'm going to slowly introduce them into the real world where the sun is out and then the sun sets and then there's night. It's just like human beings. So... Uh, this timer, this greenhouse light, I keep saying greenhouse light, this grow light has a timer for three hours. I'm upside down here, but three hours, six hours, and 12 hours. And it also has a dimmer. So you can lower the intensity of the light. So this is really a nice, and it has the clip. So you can clip it onto anything between the clip and these here. You can pretty much attach this to anything so i really recommend them and i have another one on the way and it's really made well too uh it doesn't look like junk it feels nice and heavy uh it's all metal with plastic and so forth but it's just a really it looks it's a nice quality uh grow light so i recommend it i know those of you probably a lot of uh, that follow have the similar ones i know a few of you have sent me some photos on my facebook page um so they are great, really, really great. So, all right, so uh, following along, I'm, I'm going to show, uh, I'll send out another video next week on how we're doing. We'll have a, probably a close to, uh, i say about 16, 15, 16 trays, I think, uh, by the time I'm done. And then from there, it's maintenance. And again, follow along through the season because I'm going to address everything upcoming. Um, maintaining your plants, what fertilizing them, how do I water all of these trays? And eventually, once now I'm in New Jersey, once we start getting into spring, I get into the hardening of them. Uh, and you got to be very careful with spring with wind, it's not just the temperature, but the wind. And we'll get into that as the as the season progresses. So, okay. So, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for following along, and we'll look forward to our next video.